Welcome to the Bearded Barbarian! Welcome everybody. Welcome to Sunday's video. That's right, it's Sunday. Uh, normally we do our giveaway day uh, videos on Saturday. However, on we did it today on Sunday because we're doing our monthly giveaway as opposed to our weekly giveaway. And it, today is the last day of the month. It would have been hard pressed for me to give away something the day before that. All right, so what we're doing today is we're gonna go through a couple items. I'm gonna open a box that I got from Etsy. Uh, I'm gonna open my BAM box, my pop culture uh, BAM box. And then we're gonna spin our wheel and see how we did for this monthly giveaway. The monthly giveaway was based on the number of subscribers we got for the month times two would be our dollar amount, okay? So I'm not gonna be showing any pops or anything like that because it's a mystery box based on that. And you have until midnight of tonight to determine what the dollar value will be. I'll let you know what it is as of now and just, just for your information's sake, okay? Um, I wanna thank all the new subscribers for this month and all along. Uh, it's been great, I've really enjoyed our time together. All right, so what we're gonna do today is first is I'm gonna open something from Etsy. I don't buy too much from Etsy, but I do like to buy from there. Uh, if you're not that familiar with Etsy, it's uh, basically a community of um, crafty people and people that like to build things and, and do one-of-a-kind type items. Um, and you can go on there and you can have custom things made or they'll have a variety of other things. So what I did was I went on there to see if I could get something made. It's not really custom, but it's sort of custom. And you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here shortly. So I'll go ahead and pull it out, see how it turned out. Just came in recently. Got a good deal on it. Every now and then they'll have quote unquote sales of items from Etsy, okay? So what I did was I went on to a particular um, uh, page of an individual and I'll put this information down below. I can actually read off where I got it from. Hold on one second. Um, and you can sort of see his craft. I'll put some pictures up in the corner so you can see it as well. So this is from CH Exotic Hardware. Okay, I've never purchased from this individual seller before, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what we got. So let's take a look. So as you can see, it's an axe. That's right, every now and then I like to buy a new axe to try some new things to open for our channel. Most of the axes I get are more um, wall hangers. You just take a look at them and that's all they're really designed. This is a little bit of both. It's, it's actually supposed to be very, very sharp. I'm going to try to not hurt myself when using it, um, but yeah. Let's take a look. Okay. So you can sort of see what it looks like. And it is a style, it is a bearded style ax. Now you ask, what does a bearded style ax mean? It means that the, the bottom of the ax kind of sits down lower than the top. It's not like the same, and it doesn't go straight out or just down a little bit. It comes way down like a beard, okay? So I decided to get that. You can see some of the engraving on the side. This is supposed to be made uh, custom. It feels very sharp. A little ragged, a little ragged on the edge there. Um, but I also had something special made into it. And I'll put, a, again, put a picture up in the corner. I had them um, uh, in carve into the handle, Bearded Barbarian, okay? And I believe that was, I'm not sure if there was a cost, but it was a very small cost, if anything. I ended up getting this for, I believe it was $79.99, and then I think there was like $10 shipping. But it's very well made. It's a hand-carved axe handle, um, and again, the metal, uh, blade top here, and again, I'll let you take a look at it. Um, it does appear to be pretty sharp. I'm gonna try to be very careful when I'm using it to open things, but I'll use it probably sometimes. Sometimes I'll use my other axe, so just to provide something else for uh, me to open. But it is cool. It also comes with a sheath here where they did some uh, work on that as well. Pretty nice. I, I, based on what I paid for it, it's pretty good. The handle's a little chunky, so it's kind of like uh, you could use it for two hands, or most likely I'll just use it like this when I'm opening my um, boxes. So pretty cool, I'm very happy with that, all right? So hopefully you think that's cool. Again, if you're interested in buying from this individual, you're welcome to reach out to me and ask specific questions if you want to or put it in the comments. Um, I, again, I'll have the information of that person down below so you can, if you wanna purchase something, et cetera, okay? Uh, it, this is not sponsored. I didn't, you know, I paid for it just like a, any other person would. So I'll just let you know about that. All right, let's see if we can cut into this. That cuts pretty good. It's a little thick. The axe head's a little thick. Let's see if there's any other. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open our Bam Geek box. I get this every month. Um, it used to be called the Pop Culture Box. Now it's called Bam Geek. Um, it has a variety of items. It has an autographed item. It has a memorabilia item. It has uh, enamel pins um, and usually an art card and some art prints, etc. So it's pretty cool. Used to cost like. 
$29.99. It's gone up a little bit. It's like $37 bucks now. It's real hit and miss. Some months it'll be really good stuff. Some months, it, months it'll be more meh stuff. It's usually based on the things that you like. You know, sometimes there's certain things I'm not interested in. If it's stuff from that, I don't either know what it is, etc. So we'll do our best to try to identify what it is and see what people think. All right, get some trash here. First thing is we got our BAM sheet. Try to, usually I try to get the pin first. Let's take a look and see if I can find it. I don't find the pin. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. First thing is our pin. It looks like uh, Transformers. It looks like we've got a Transformers one. Optimus Prime, I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe that to be Optimus Prime. I do have a pin board, so I'll make sure to put that up on my pin board. All right. What else do we have here? Next. Uh, I got my scratcher card. We'll try that out here afterwards. I've never won. Some people, a few people have, but I've never won. The next one is we got a, our art card. It appears to be Magneto. I believe that's right. Maybe I'm wrong. It appears to be Magneto to me, so I guess we'll find out. And it said it was signed by Trey Baldwin, it looks like. All right. Let's see what's next here. Feel an art piece, I believe. What do we get? Oh, we got, it looks like a comic book. Uh, we got us a Wonder Woman comic book and somebody else. Not sure who specifically that person is, but it's, there's no writing on it at all, but that's pretty cool. It's not autographed in any way that I can see. There's a little bit of writing down here, so that's possible it's an autograph. If it is, it's a tiny autograph. So we'll, we'll take a look and see what uh, that amounted to on our write-up sheet. What else did we get? Ah, we got a poster. We got Slimer. It looks like a Slimer picture. It's a cool one. I like that one. He's wearing his uh, either a bus hat or... Uh, yeah, it looks like a bus hat. So that was a cool art print. And what do we get? Let's take a look at our autograph. It appears to be... Hmm... Oh, this is from a hook. At first, I, I got thrown a little bit, and you can see um, Robin Williams over here, and I forgot this dude that played the, like the, the head um, underling of, of uh, Peter Pan. I assume it's this person. Um, Rufio. It's Rufio! And I'm not sure the name of the character, but we'll take a look at that and see how we did on that. There's a couple of pieces here. That's it. This says February Geek Box. Itchy, scrap, scratchy comic book. It looks like a Graded comic book as a possibility. It's interesting. All right, that's it from the box. So we're gonna go through these things kind of quickly to see what we got, see if we got any. I didn't see any level up cards in there, but occasionally they'll put a level level up in there even if there's no level up. So, um, all right, so we got our celebrity autograph. We got a, this is where I had trouble. Last time I had real trouble seeing. Uh, we know there's one, um, only one Peter Pan, but when we show Hook, we can, uh, can't can help but think uh, that Rufio might as well be the coolest successor um, to Peter Pan. So it is Rufio. Now, what is the guy's name? Um, it doesn't say his name here. Hmm. I'm not really sure. It's got sloppy handwriting. But it is a cool one. I do like Hook. It was a great movie. So hopefully you like that one. Next one is our collector pin. Transformers still might be the greatest toy to ever have been created. An amazing original cartoon was just as awesome. Optimus Prime versus Megatron is still one of the greatest rivalries of all time. So this is Optimus Prime. A lot of times they'll put the next pin might be, you know, Megatron. My guess is that's what they're looking to try to do here. Okay. Um, Artist Alley. Um, the professional artist car artist... Uh, Chris Yumingo has been uh, bringing us straight from art prints since the, the very first year of BAM. So he's been doing a lot of prints. Um, so when we asked him to create a Ghostbusters to start off the year, we knew we wouldn't be disappointed, and we didn't, uh, we didn't this time. So that was from... What did I say the guy's name was? Hmm, whatever. But it's a pretty cool one. I like Ghostbusters. I'm a big fan. All of these... Um, 
these groups that I that they've done are things that I like, so that's good. All right, let's take a look at our prop item. As comics, as comic collectors, we are always excited to be able to send out collectible ones. This month, we are sending out limited comics from Dynamite, um, home of some of the hottest comic artists today. Possible um, grabs are from Battlestar Galactica, Red Sonia, and others. Um, these are out of print and highly collectible. So this is an out of print one, highly collectible. And they just sent out a variety of different ones. It wasn't one that was maybe more special than the other. But that, that's a cool one. Okay. Uh, prop. Uh, oh, that was a prop. Item select card. So this is our card here. This year, we are proud to bring you the villains from all of the favorite franchises. We're still off with a real uh, banger. We start off with a real banger. The villains, X-Men, straight out of Professor Artist um, Magneto. Exactly what I said, Magneto. So this is they're apparently going to be doing the villains this year for the cards. So that was cool. The art's not my favorite. It's pretty good, but it's a little rough around the edges. So hopefully you like that one. That one was pretty cool. Um, so this was a pretty cool BAM box. I'm going to go ahead and scratch my BAM scratcher off and get disappointed like I normally do. So let me try my new axe here. See how sharp it is. Yeah. Let's see, it looks like a computer of some kind. Um, looks like some sort of a PS, oh, a TV. Computer TV and gaming console. So that's a loser. Okay, so we didn't win that one. All right. Hopefully you like those. Um, again, um, I'll put those up in the corner. Some people really like BAM and some people maybe not as much. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at um, our wheel here shortly. Um, next week, we're going to be going back to our weekly giveaway like normal. There'll be a pops and sodas and whatever other items that I've been collecting that I'd like to pass on to folks. Um, and uh, you can go ahead and pick from those. All you have to do to be part of that is just... Uh, comment down below and make sure you're subscribed. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Try to, uh, you know, reach out to some of your friends and see if they're interested in being part of the giveaway as well. Uh, we've had some pretty good numbers lately, which is awesome. Um, this particular wheel, we actually had the most we ever have. Of course, I gathered all the names from the four weeks worth of uh, videos from this month, the giveaway video. So all any if you commented on any of the videos for any of the four weeks for the giveaway, I put you on the wheel, just as I said I would, okay? So um, this particular time, I believe we have 92. So we've got 92 entries. Um, so hopefully that'll be really good. We'll go ahead and shuffle. Let me go ahead and do a record of the screen here real quick. Hopefully it'll go smoothly. Doesn't always. Three, two, and one, and we are recording. All right, go ahead and minimize that. We'll do a seven shuffle, one shuffle, two shuffle, three shuffle, four shuffle, five shuffle, six shuffle, and seven shuffle. Good luck to everyone. See how we did. The winner is Elite Cam. Elite Cam. Um, sounds like a new subscriber. Uh, congratulations to them. Um, thank you very much for coming. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. If um, you are Elite Cam, make sure to reach out to me on Instagram. Go ahead and, and uh, uh, IG me at Beard of Barbarian Collectibles. Um, thank you very much for coming, and goodbye from the Beard of Barbarian.